Leave it to a beloved MVP of General Hospital, Kirsten Storms, Maxie Jones, to pull out all the stops in the culmination of Maxie's storyline with Peter August, Wes Ramsey, and that's what viewers witnessed this week on the ABC daytime drama series. Maxie manipulated the manipulator during a stunning sequence of events. In story, while recovering at General Hospital after giving birth in the woods, Maxie lays it on thick to ensure that Peter never gets near their baby Louise, who is actually being passed off as Bailey, the baby of Valentine and Brooklyn, not kidnapped by the naughty nurse, Chloe, Kimberly J. Brown. But in Maxie's chain of events to Peter, she tears into him and tells him that Chloe kidnapped her, drugged her to induce labor, and took off with Louise. Peter is stunned. Maxie goes on to explain that Chloe said she was working for him and that Peter planned to take her and the baby out of the country, courtesy slash ABC at that point. Maxie plays on Peter's psyche, telling him, she wishes the dark side of him would return to get the nurse for what she did. It is then she gets Peter right where she wants him when he admits that Chloe isn't the nurse's real name. Maxie then turns up the heat on Peter and reveals that Chloe must have been fed information on her from Peter. And that the only explanation is that Peter is horrible person. Then, Maxie tells Peter their baby is gone, it's all his fault and he hopes he is terrified, and that she is repulsed by him, especially every time he touched her. She then confronts him about killing Drew Kane, Franco Baldwin and anyone else who got in his way. He says it's not too late for them, and that he did it all for her and Louise. Boom. Maxie has got Peter's confession taped on a file on her phone which she immediately sends to Mac. That sends Peter running and well, we know, or we think we know where that led, to Peter's fall down the stairs thanks to Finn, Michael Easton. Courtesy slash ABC later when Brooklyn, Amanda Seton, arrives at GH with baby Louise, she sits outside Maxie's room as emotional Maxie sees her daughter in the arms of another mother, and is heartbroken that she can't be with the little girl she just gave birth to. Over the last three episodes, Kirsten Storms has reminded us all of why she has the innate ability and combination to play strong, determined, vulnerable, lovable and devastated with such ease. Storms gave us a bravura performance to remember, slicing Peter's charade in half, playing beats of Maxie's fictionalized account, with Maxie's real account of life with Henrik Fison aka Peter. For all of this and more, Michael Fireman TV names Kirsten Storm's work, the power performance of the week. What did you think of Kirsten in the pivotal scenes with Maxie and Peter, and the emotional fallout that followed? Share your thoughts via the comments section below. But first, check out some moments from Maxie giving Peter a piece of her mind. Watch, Maxie gives Henrik a piece of her mind. Hashtag ghpick.twitter.com slash 87k4s81gns, General Hospital, at General Hospital, June 3, 2021 Ad Block Test, Why, 